Hey everybody, Crystal Vaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen, where we help make clean eating a lifestyle. So Easter is fast approaching, and for every holiday, for Easter, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, whatever, I like to make my family a little special breakfast. And so for this year, we are going to be doing a breakfast pizza. Now, my family loves it, it tastes delicious, you guys are going to love it too. Now, if you haven't checked out the crust videos, make sure to go do that. We have a great keto and paleo approved almond flour pizza crust, and then we also have a paleo approved um, regular uh, pizza crust that has almond flour, tapioca flour, and coconut flour. So whatever type of way of eating you're doing, make sure to go make your crust and have it ready and we are going to be finishing it off in this episode. So stay tuned. So here is all the ingredients that we are going to need. Now you wanna make sure to start by making your pizza crust from one of the previous videos. For our meats, we are going to be doing some um, I was almost gonna say pepperoni. Nope, that's bacon. Some bacon and some sausage. Uh, you could do whatever type of toppings you want, though I know my parents always insist that I should put vegetables on it, but it's breakfast pizza, so I don't. Uh, now you want about a dozen eggs. For the sauce, we're gonna be using Alfredo sauce. Now you wanna make sure that you're reading the ingredients to make sure that it is um, approved for whatever uh, way of eating that you're doing. And, and then you could do a Mexican style cheese, um, some cheddar, whatever kind of cheese you have on hand, some mozzarella, of course. I'm just going to heat up our sausage quick. As you can see, I'm just chopping it into small pieces as it's cooking. We're gonna wait for this to cook and then go get our eggs ready. So here's a great opportunity that you can help your kids, go on, that your kids can help you in the kitchen. Hannah's going to crack the eggs for me. She seriously does such a good job. Oh. All right, little shell, that's okay. Okay, keep going. Should I help you? Because there is a lot. What topping do you like on your breakfast pizza, girl? Taco. You like a taco? Yeah. On breakfast pizza? I like a taco. Oh, that's silly. Like, do you want the feet, like, you like the steam taco? Yeah. Well, we could make a taco pizza. That would be good. And then we are just gonna whisk these up and add some spices to them. Kaden, do you wanna get some of the spices? What kind? Uh, maybe some salt, some pepper, some garlic, onion powder, and some Italian seasoning if you have it. Oh, I found a big chunk here. We don't have Italian seasoning. Well, you can use the oregano then. Okay, we're gonna add some onion powder, a little salt, le sal de bain. Okay, you wanna whisk it? Good job. So we are going to be using a little bigger pan for our eggs. And we're gonna let it cook slowly. And as it cooks slowly, we're gonna very gently just continue to go like this, which will, in my opinion, make it more fluffy. I did add just a little bit of water to it too. Just, I feel like it helps it make it more fluffy. I don't know, some people don't agree, but we got both things cooking here. I got my Caden helper doing the eggs while I'm doing the sausage. <laughs> I just want all the pieces of the sausage to be really, really small. Now I already cooked the bacon, but I am going to cut it up a little bit in smaller chunks. All right, so we're gonna start with our Alfredo sauce. You can just dump it on if you want, and then we're gonna just spread it out. You can use however much you would like. I kind of just cover the bottom with it. Okay, then what would you guys like to put on? Cheese? Yeah. Yeah, me, me too. Eat. You would like to do it? Yep, yeah. Okay. Okay, put some of this on the bottom. Can Here. I put some on after you have? Here, Kaden, why don't you come and put some on too? Just put it all over the bottom even, evenly. Now remember, we're not putting it in one clump. Yep, good job, Kaden. Kaden Hannah, you gotta equal it out a little bit more. Shake it out a little bit more. Good job. Okay, good job, Hannah girl. Okay, that's enough. Okay, then we're going to put some eggs on. Um, these are a little hot, Hannah, honey. So just be careful. Okay, we're gonna do this in layers just like I like to do all my pizzas. Okay, Hannah, you can put on some sausage. Kaden, why don't you put on some bacon? Okay, good job. Now remember, we're spreading it out. Actually grind. Okay, not a ton, just a little. So we're gonna do it in layers. Yeah. Good. good job, Hannah, honey. Should I help you? Should I do more? That's good. Uh, no, that's good for now. Okay. 
Okay, now more cheese. Okay, Hannah, that's enough bacon. Okay, now more cheese. I'll put on a little mozzarella. Okay, remember we're spreading it out. Good, Hannah, you good? Yeah. Oh, that's... Okay. One way to do it. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some more eggs and then we're gonna repeat the process, okay? Now we want the bacon. Okay, Hannah, you can do some more sausage. Okay. Lot. You like sausage? Yeah, that's okay. a piece. Good job. Oh, you guys, I just want to eat this right now. I know. Yeah. The bacon's tempting. Okay, don't use all the bacon because we're making two pizzas. Yeah. Okay, any other, here, let's use a little bit more sausage over here. Now, Hannah, you can put on some more cheese. We're not eating the sausage, Kaden. Oh, it's so good. Tap it. It? You can dump it. Just do it in, yeah, like all over the place. Good job. All right, now I'm going to finish it off with some mozzarella. Mozzarella. Uh, no, Mom was going to do this now. You did a great job helping, though. Now you could also put some oregano on the top of it if you would like. I'm going to be putting this in the oven, 425 degrees until it's lightly browned on top. Okay, so this came out of the oven. We let it cool down a little bit, but we dug right in. It, it's so good. My kids couldn't wait any longer. You guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mm. Yum.